Keeping them honest every night. AC 360. CNN. Weeknights 10 Eastern. Here's something else to consider. Human Rights Watch released a report today concluding that the Syrian regime has carried out a, quote, systematic series of abuses against protesters that could qualify as crimes against humanity. It points out that the protests that have swept the country began back in March with the detention and torture of 15 young boys accused of painting anti-regime graffiti slogans. Boys like Hamza. The release of their bruised and bloodied bodies unleashing outrage. I spoke earlier with uh, human rights activist Rezan Zaytouni, who has bravely been our window into Syria for weeks. She is in hiding tonight, as she has been for weeks. Her husband has already been taken, disappeared. No word of him. She is speaking out at great risk to her own life. Rezan, Syrian state television is now claiming that, that Hamza died from three bullet wounds during a demonstration back in April 29th. And they say that a medical report by a Syrian official confirms that and said that the body showed no sign of torture or bruising or, or violence. Are they just lying? First of all, who believed that Syrian TV or Syrian media in general, or Syrian official media in general, the media which since the beginning of the revolution, which practicing all kinds of lies and instigate Syrians against each other and accuse Syrians who participate in this protest to be criminal or to be terrorists, etc. Nobody believed this media which has no credibility at all. Second, this is not the first time they do the same, to kill the people and then humiliate their families and force them to say that only criminals did, the, did that for their sons. And that, it seems, is what they're doing with, with Hamza's family. His father and uncle appeared on, on, on state television yesterday, reportedly after meeting with President Assad, and they said the medical report was legitimate, and that Hamza's father also said that Assad is, is quote, the best president ever. How is it that they make these people go on television and say these things? By terrifying people. We heard about this before it happened. We got reports that they went to the family house and they arrested the father and everybody knew then that next day we will see somebody from the family to say that the regime didn't kill our son. President Assad has said that, that they're going to grant amnesty to protesters. And, and although, he, as we talked about yesterday, his definition of amnesty, it's people who got the death penalty, maybe they'll, they'll be reduced to, to life at, at hard labor. But, but Syrian uh, Observatory for Human Rights says uh, some 500 political prisoners have actually been released. Has your, have you gotten any word of your husband? Has he been released? He, he was taken weeks ago. No, not, not my husband and also none of my friends who are in detention right now. None of them have, have, have been released yet until this moment. And I, I just want to tell you how it's painful for thousands of families who are waiting their sons to be released now because they, didn't, they don't know if their sons will be released or not. What keeps you going? I mean, you're in hiding, you're... you're... You're, you're at risk of being arrested at any moment. What, what keeps you going? We have a dream also. Not, not, you, you, know, you know, this is a dream of, of a freedom, of dignity, that you, you, you feel you're, you are a human being and dealt in, in proper way as a human being in your country. We are fed up. We want all of this to end. It's, it's our, our moment, and we will continue until the end, no matter how we suffer now. Because, because actually, all what we are suffering now, we have been suffering for decades now. But now, the, 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 the difference is, this moment, all Syrians are saying it's enough. All Syrians now want this to end. Rezan Zaytouni, stay safe. Thank you. In this new uh, report, Human Rights Watch says if Syria doesn't stop killing its people, the UN Security Council should refer President Bashar al-Assad to the International Criminal Court. Australia's foreign minister went further today, saying that time has already come.